Loads of you guys have requested that I do a video on my favorite customization apps. So I've made a bunch of home screens to show you guys. So sit back, relax, as I show you the best customization apps for Android 2016. All of these setups are running on Nova Launcher Prime and there are links in the description to every single app that I'm going to talk about today. So this home screen is made of Zupa widgets. At the top here we've got the flat UI skin for Zupa which is one of my favourite packs of all time. Then this dock at the bottom is from the Parrot Zupa pack and the icon pack that we're using is Umbra. So in order to make the widget look like it's attached to the dock, you need to make sure that the widget colour is the same as the dock background. You also want to make sure that you have widget overlap turned on in your Nova settings. And you want to go into your dock settings and make sure that it's displaying as an overlay. The great thing about Zupa Widget is you can download all of these different themes, but then you can customise them to your liking. You can go into the Zupa Widget app and you can change the scaling of specific widgets, so you can change how big they are. You can go into layout and from here you can individually edit different aspects. So you can change the colour of certain elements or you can get rid of the ones that you don't need. The wallpaper is 3D parallax background and this will let you set any image you want and apply a depth effect, so it will essentially make your home screen look three dimensional. And as well as using your own images, there are a bunch of different themes that you can download. The awesome thing with these is each theme is made up of three layers, so you get a really, really convincing depth effect and it looks very three dimensional. And then as I said, this wallpaper is from Facets. This is one of my favorite wallpaper apps of all time. It's got these sort of really beautiful geometric three dimensional looking shapes and they're really minimal in that they're generally on a white or a black background. So if you run slightly more minimal home screen setups like I do, then these work really, really well. So this next home screen is sort of Game of Thrones inspired. At the top of the screen here, we've got a custom widget and this is very similar to Zupa widget. You download it and then you need to download other skins or themes to install. So this one is a pack called Flash. Then the wallpaper that we're using is called GIF Live Wallpaper and this does exactly what it says on the tin. It will let you set any GIF that you want on your home screen. And then the widget above the dock is a Zupa widget from the Minimal Theme Pack. And the actual GIF that we're using in the wallpaper is from an app called Ripple. So if you go into Ripple and then search for Game of Thrones, you can see there's a bunch of them. You've got Ramsay getting eaten by his dogs, you've got the shame, you've got the hound cutting wood. There's a great selection and they're all this really nice minimal art style. All you need to do is then download it to your SD card. You then want to go into GIF Live Wallpaper from your app drawer and you can select which GIF you want to show on your home screen. You can then reposition it, you can pinch to zoom in and out and if you go to the top there's this little colour picker which will allow you to match the rest of your home screen to the background colour of the GIF. You then just want to apply it to your wallpaper and you're good to go. Custom Live Wallpaper Pro is the easiest way to completely change how your home screen looks with a couple of clicks. You want to set this up by having an empty Nova Launcher set up and then you want to apply Custom Live Wallpaper as your live wallpaper. And then from there you can install a bunch of different themes and you can see they're really really varied and completely change how your phone looks. This one I'm currently showing you is called All Gold. So if you want to change which theme you're using you want to go into your live wallpaper, hit on the gear icon and then there's an option on the left which says Load Preset. From here you'll be able to see every single custom live wallpaper preset that you've installed on your phone. So this is one of my favourites called Simpact Bower and it's got these really neat animation effects which really do change up how your home screen looks and you can't get this kind of intricate animation any other way on Android. The next setup is from the guy who makes Trident Zupa widgets and the setup is from a pack called Flow and this is on the Play Store and it gives you about a dozen different really nice setups. And this final setup, which has got a kind of Windows Phone vibe but looks a little bit cleaner than Windows Phone, is also by the same guy and it's available from the Flow pack. This next setup uses a Wolf wallpaper from the Facets app. The widget at the top is then another Zupa widget from the Fox pack. We're then using the noisy icon pack, but the cool thing on this setup is this folder in the middle. This looks like a normal folder, but it's actually from an app called Custom App Folder. And this will let you set a folder on your home screen, which will then react to different triggers. So if I'm just at home, this will give me apps like Alexa and Chromecast. Then if I attach a Bluetooth gaming controller, this will change and it will start to display all of the games that I can play with this controller. The next app is called MyCopy Pico, and this isn't necessarily a customization app, but it will let you make your dialer look a little bit prettier. This will generate pictures for any contact that doesn't have a contact photo. And the pictures it generates are very minimal and very material design, and it definitely makes your contact look a little bit cleaner. 
Next up, we have custom search bar widget, and this is perfect for people who like really minimal setups. This lets you add a customizable search bar to your home screen. So not only can you tap on this to initiate a Google search or to search your phone, you can also add a customizable list of applications beneath the search bar. There are loads and loads of themes to choose from, and if you're looking for an app which is both minimal and good looking, but also adds some real functionality to your home screen, then custom search bar widget could be for you. Next, we have Gboard, which is Google's new keyboard for Android. Now, the reason I'm including this on a list of customization apps is you can completely customize how this looks. There are a bunch of predefined themes, but the really cool thing is that you can set any image you want behind your keyboard. And then once you've set it, you can then adjust the brightness to make it look exactly how you want it. Next up, we have Navbar Apps, and this is my favorite app to tweak your navigation bar. You can set it with different custom images, or you can make it so it will automatically change to match whichever app you're currently running. It's also been recently updated, so you can get all these different Christmas themes for free. And there are loads of different pre-installed images that you can drop behind your navigation bar to make it look however you want. This next setup is made up of Thunderstorm Live Wallpaper Pro, which is one of my favorite live wallpapers of all time. At the top of the screen, we've got this search bar, which is a Parrot Zooper widget. Beneath this, we've got the month calendar widget, which is by far my favorite calendar widget for Android. And then the icon pack that we're using is Umbra. At the bottom of the screen, we've got these quick action folders. So you need to be running Nova Launcher Prime for this to work. And you want to long press on a folder on your home screen. You want to then click edit and select where it says swipe to open folder. It looks a little bit cleaner and it means you can access the first app with just a tap. And then if you swipe up, you get the full folder. With month calendar widget, you get a preview of the month as you'd expect, but if you tap on a day, you'll get this nice pop-up which overlays over your home screen and shows you all of your events. There are also loads of themes in the free version, and if you want even more, you can upgrade to unlock, I think about 500 different themes. So there you are guys, those are some of my favorite customization apps for Android. I'm currently working on some videos where I'm gonna be theming home screens around a topic. So at the moment I've got a Pokemon themed one, I've got a Game of Thrones themed one, which is kind of carrying on from this video. But let me know in the comments below if there's any theme that you want me to cover. Thank you very, very much for watching. The links to all of these apps are in the description below. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.